City elections are coming up in less than a month. March 19th is the day officially, and ahead of the elections, voting machines are being tested. Now, you may remember during the last elections in November, there were complaints about mail-in ballots in Duval County not fitting properly into envelopes, and some of the ballots were wider than the tabulator. So officials are hoping they don't have any of those issues this time around. Our camera Eppinger, he was at the Supervisor of Elections office to watch this test. It's called the logic and accuracy testing, and this is an opportunity where the public can see how each tabulator is prepped and checked for election morning. Here's a look at the process. Preparations are underway for the upcoming election. Friday morning, Mike Hogan and the canvassing board took time out to demonstrate how each tabulating machine is tested. The process begins with selecting one machine at random from each council district. Next, a zero report is printed from each machine. This ensures it doesn't have any counts from previous races. After the zero report, the next step is to run pre-marked test ballots through the machines. This ensures that each tabulator is working and counting properly. Hogan says today's testing went well without any hiccup. Every single, every single one of our tests was accurate. There were no hiccups, no problems. Now, in addition to the precinct tabulators, they also counted what's called these 850 machines. These are individual machines and they are used to, for recounts and they're also used to count absentee ballots. We're told that these machines actually count up to 300 ballots per minute, whereas the precinct tabulators count about 12 ballots per minute. Right now, one of the 850 machines are offline for maintenance, but Hogan says it will be up and running for the upcoming election. One's down because I don't know if it's a belt or a camera or what, but they're electronic and they break. And so we've got the ESNS alerted. They'll be out here and fix it before the election starts. Well, now that testing is complete and everything has checked out, each tabulator will now be locked and sealed and stored away until election morning. For now, reporting from the north side, Camerall Eppinger, First Coast News, on your side.